Welcome to my review of the newer Bicolor 660 LED video lights. Before I get started, I wanted to ask you to please click the like and subscribe buttons below as it really does help me out as a small channel. So today we are looking at some small studio lights. These ones are made by newer, but they're really just the best value kit I found on Amazon. As I've been getting more into YouTube, I've decided to pick some up recently, just to make filming this b-roll a bit easier, and boy have they delivered. They output so much brightness, it makes filming at lower apertures a breeze, for those of you who know what that means. But overall, they just make filming so much easier. I'm going to come out and say right now that these are budget lights, so don't think that they are all that, because you can definitely tell but what they are is effective. The large amount of light they put out is incredibly helpful. Unfortunately, they don't have a helpful dial or anything to tell you what the actual color temperature is, but like at this price point, that's not exactly surprising. The way that you adjust the color is that you have a 0 to 100% dial for yellow and white, and when having both of these turned at once, you get colors in between the two color temperatures. This is a very inaccurate system, but if you're looking at something in this price range and with this amount of brightness, that seems about right. The color can also be adjusted by putting some filters in front of the lights, which I personally don't use, but is a nice feature to have available. The lights can either be powered by the included power adapter or by NPF550 or NPF970 batteries. I haven't run them off battery yet as my use case doesn't really require them, but it is a nice to have. The lights come on frames allowing them to be rotated a bit more than 180 degrees across the top, but not very far down. This is a bit of a drag as it makes filming things on the floor hard as the stands don't really get that low. But that's just how it is and I suspect that this won't be an issue for most people. That brings us on to the stands, which come with the lights. For what they are, they are bad, but really be aware this is a cheap kit. They actually have a lot of versatility, but are very basic in their features. They don't have soft tips on the end or any convenient carrying bag. All they do is hold up the lights, and that's fine by me. The lights themselves actually do come with carrying bags, but the lights don't actually fit in them all that well, and the construction seems less than perfect. As I'm sure you can tell already, that's kind of how these lights are. Everything works, and it does a great job. The actual quality may be a bit lacking in places. For instance, the dial on the back of one of my lights is offset, which I really couldn't care that much about, other than it makes matching the color between the two lights a bit harder. But for a complete kit, I'm not sure what more you could ask for. It is everything you need for a beginning lighting setup, and I could not be happier with my purchase. One thing I would mention, though, is that with all the talk of shininess when it comes to quality, I would understand if you question the reliability, though. I can't speak for people years down the line, but I've had absolutely no issues, and from reading other reviews on Amazon, I would expect them to last a good long while. Now on to what I would change. I want to keep myself within this price point, as I know they are much better features on more expensive lights. So personally, one cheap adjustment I would make is to include a longer power plug, as it really does make the light more versatile. A couple of months ago when I was using these as photography lights, I kept having issues where the cord wasn't long enough, and this is even stressed more when the lights are extended all the way up. So overall, I just think this would be a good cheap change. Also, I would work on the quality control for basic things, like making sure the foam cut for the carrying case was correct and the dial wasn't put on the wrong way. One last thing I would recommend was to put small rubber feet on the bottom of the stands so that you could put them on wooden floors without having to worry that you're going to scratch them. That's pretty much it for what I would change, so now on to my conclusion. Overall, I really like these lights. I know that they are not the best when it comes to build quality, but when it comes to effectively producing light, they really shine. If that's what you're looking for, then I think you'll definitely like them, even with their flaws. But if you'd rather trade in some of their brightness for quality, then I think you could look elsewhere. Thank you so much for watching, and feel free to support this channel by liking and subscribing for more videos in the future.